skincare mistake that is ruining your skin that is not allowing your hyperpigmentation to clear that is giving you more acne that is not allowing you to have that flawless glass skin that you have always wanted in today's video i'll be talking about those mistakes and i will not only stop there i'll also be giving you things that you can do in order to combat the damage that you already have on your skin now if that looks like what you're interested in then you want to sit back relax and enjoy the Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tolu Lokwe in case you're stopping by for the very first time. And in case you're not, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And the very first thing that you're doing to irritate your skin is you're not wearing sunscreen or you're not wearing the adequate amount of sunscreen. The simple rule of thumb is you want to ensure that you're wearing your sunscreen in the three finger rule and apply this sunscreen evenly all over your face your neck your chest and also every part of your body that is exposed to sunlight this will not only help with your hyperpigmentation this is also going to prevent you from getting skin cancer in the future and the solution to this is ensure that you get a skin a sunscreen actually sorry a sunscreen that you actually like this will motivate you to wear it more often because i noticed that some people don't like to wear their sunscreen because they have one or two complaints to make it's either they say it's too greasy or they say it's too expensive that they can't afford so i would advise that you actually get a sunscreen that you that you like that way you enjoy wearing it and also get a sunscreen that is within your budget such that if you are able to buy it this month you will also be able to buy it next month and also subsequent months another thing that you can do to reduce the the effect of sun on your skin is to not go out during daylight if it's possible for you or when you go out ensure that you hold an umbrella and also ensure that you are getting adequate protection from the from the sun by getting sunscreen that is SPF 30 and above with this you will be able to prevent your skin adequately another thing that is really your skin is how you are exfoliating and to put it lightly the use of physical exfoliant that is scrub scrub in itself is not as if it is bad is the problem with scrub is you are not in control of how well you are manipulating it against your skin and i am going to explain let's say you apply a physical scrub on your palm now and you're going in circular motion you don't know when you tend to be going too harsh and you don't know when you are not doing enough so when you go too harsh you tend to expose your skin and you get micro tears micro tears is tiny tiny tears on your skin you might not even be able to see it physically but if you go under microscope these tears are actually visible and what happens is when these tears are on your skin you are your skin is prone to it being getting infected by bacteria and all sorts which is why you keep dealing with acne or hyperpigmentation or your skin start having texture and if you have texture trust me you are not able to get a very smooth skin so one thing you want to do is you look into other ways of exfoliating your skin and the major one i would advise is chemical exfoliants chemical exfoliants has been properly formulated for you so what you just need to just apply it on your palm and put it all over your skin or you use cutting pad you don't need to you don't need to be scared of you having micro tears and all of that when you use chemical exfoliants another thing you are doing that is harming your skin or that is causing your skin damage is you are introducing more than one active at a time a lot of people feel like the more actives they have in their routine the more the more results they will get but i want to say this is not true active can be very ash on your skin it can be drying on your skin let's say for instance if you are looking for your skin to be more soft to to be more hydrated to be more to be visibly clear then you don't have to pack actives in your routine if you want that glass skin effect then you want to open on your hydrating products like ironic acid like your ceramide ceramide and all of that but if you are putting two or more actives at a time this can be drying and could damage your skin in the long run so you want to ensure that you don't have more than one active at most two at a time if you're having more than two in your routine trust me you're doing too much and the next one i would like to talk about but before i go into it if you're enjoying this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe this help my channel this help me grow in the long run so the next mistake you're making is you are applying your body cream on your face wow please stop that in case you're doing that the skin on your face is most 
sensitive to that of your body and the skincare composition for the body is entirely different from that of the face because the one on the body tends to include oils and other uh, chemicals that will help in moisturizing your body that will not be suitable for your facial skin so this is one thing that you are doing that could be arming your skin so i want to advise that you get a separate moisturizer for your body and a separate one for your skin and if you have some moisturizer that says face and body in my opinion that is a red flag and the next mistake that you are making that is not allowing you to get your skincare results is the use of ash ingredients i know when i mentioned ash ingredient you might be thinking bleaching product but no your self formulated skincare products can also be harsh for your skin let's say for instance the use of hydroquinone you are not supposed to use hydroquinone of more than two percent and let's say you've gone ahead to get a product that has hydroquinone of about five to ten percentage this will be too uh, this will not be nice for your skin you might have to start having a lot of reaction a lot of uh, you can get a different result from what you have expected so when you are using products ensure that you get the right percentage from a the right percentage for your skin and also know that the higher the percentage does not mean better results trust me and the next one i think we're currently on number seven if i'm not mistaken just like the use of ash ingredient is also unsupervised use of some certain skincare ingredient like hydroquinone like kojic acid and the rest hydroquinone is not really bad if you are trying to trick um, hyperpigmentation but the problem is you are using it unsupervised because if you are using hydroquinone for instance this is being recommended by your dermatologist i'm sure your dermatologist will have given you of a percentage that you need for your skin and also put you on a plan you cannot use hydroquinone for a long period of time i'm sure you cannot use hydroquinone for about you cannot use it for more than two to three months so if you are using it for a longer period of time you might start getting the results that you are not expecting so ensure that when you are using certain skincare products or ingredient ensure that you are discussing with your dermatologist because your dermatologist will be able to put you on the right schedule and also monitor you to ensure that you are using it the right way and you are also using it for the right period of time and the next thing that is ruining or irritating your skin is because you're, you're using an expired skincare product yes yes if you are using an expired skincare product this could affect the health of your skin and also the results that you get from the usage of the products and the pro tip for you to do this is when you get skincare products ensure that you check the expiring date so that you want to ensure that you are not using this product longer than the stated expired period of needs that's what i'd like to talk about is the most important one actually so i saved the best for the last is patient you need to be patient with your skincare products don't just get a product today and you use it for two weeks and you just start saying it's not working and you go into the market to get another one one this is not cost effective you start wasting money and this could ruin your skincare experience because you start feeling like oh you are doing all, all sort of skin and your skin seems to not care but what you're not putting into consideration is you are not being patient enough you want you have to give your skincare some grace just as you extend to yourself when you get a product if it's not harming your skin if you are not having adverse effects ensure that you give the product grace by using it for at least one to two months before you decide if it is working or not in as much as it is not ruining or hurting you or harming your skin in any way but you are not just getting the result that you expected so i advise that you give this product some period of time to see if it will work before you decide that it is not working for you this will not only help you save money but this will also uh, this will not only help you save money but this will also allow you to have a better skincare experience i hope you have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section if you have other questions i am always in my comment section responding to you guys and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also share my video with your friends and family that you think might find this video helpful till i come your way next time stay fabulous and stay beautiful